Thank you very much. Uh, one thing I'm not going to do is broaden furthermore. It's been quite broad already. Uh, if you look at the session's title, the first word was employment. And uh, I'm going to focus basically on jobs. Uh, what kind of jobs are likely to come in, not detail it out to. Uh, jobs that will be created, that will be created because of the green growth, or the, let's call the green jobs for the moment. And my own views will be restricted to the Asia and Pacific region. I come from the Asian Development Bank, and that's what we know best. Uh, if you look at Asia in the last two, three decades, I don't need to tell you there's been a remarkable growth. But this growth has come at the expense of inequality and definitely at the cost of environment. So there's a lot to do on the environment side, green side, and there are not only jobs, investment to do. Uh, that is also very clear that um, although the growth had been phenomenal in Asia, uh, we can also say the jobs have not been that way because two-thirds of the Asia is still poor. Mm. So there must be somewhere the jobless growth. Uh, but the good news is the Asia and the Pacific region is very keen on green growth. No matter which country's agenda you look at it, it's very, very strong. Uh, look at the 2009 data when the China surpassed some countries like Denmark, Germany, Spain, just <coughs> on the wind energy. Look at the renewable agendas, investment, Asia is is they are the highest. So there is this trend that's happening and we are very happy about it. Um, certainly green growth is adding to the GDP. Uh, just for an example, in 2008, uh, China earned more than about 60 billion, which is about 1.4 percent of the GDP from green technology and green business. So that's it's really a source of GDP. The second thing I'm going to mention is some of the data research that have been ongoing to see what kind of numbers might be in the green jobs. Uh, China says they may have about 5 to 10 million, uh, 10 million jobs in the next 5 to 10 years. Uh, they think they may have about 4 to 8 million additional jobs related to green goods and services. Uh, there was a UNEP study which says globally we might have 3.2.3 million just for the renewable energy. A uh, DFID study says about 20 million by 2030. So no matter how we look at it, we know that there will be more jobs in this area. But the, the what trend that we are looking at is, however, there's a mismatch between jobs and skills. And in one of the recent reports says, uh, just to give an example, take India and China, 25, 20 to 25 percent of the engineers graduating today have the skill requires for the employer. There's a lot of job out there, but the, we are not producing the kind of the skills that is needed for the jobs. We're also noting sometimes uh, there are instant experts. Suddenly some becomes a climate change expert, some become adaptation expert, uh, on and on and on. There's a lot of people who can talk on the issues and, you know, we are a bank. We do, we do about $2.1 billion investment every year just on the clean energy and renewables. Uh, it's difficult to find those people who really know how to do the jobs properly. Uh, so I really think the education sector, whoever people are involved, need to look at it and reform it so that we do produce these people who have the skills at all levels, the engineers, the technicians, and the people on the ground. Uh, that mismatch is not helping. On one hand, there are lots of jobs. On the other one, on the other areas, we can fill it up. That's also sometimes true for the Asian Development Bank itself. So since we uh, increase our lending, uh, six years ago we had about two hundred million dollars just on green investment. Today we're doing about more than two billion. We can do more, and if we do need to do this, we need these kind of really good people. Uh, we are hiring them, but I tell you. It's a challenge. So I really would like to plead to the educators, including Terry University and others, to produce really fine people who know how to do things on the ground. Thank you.